What's going on guys, it's been a while since my last video, keen to be back and making some content for this channel. So let's get into it with some training footage from my leg and arm session in the background. Before I get started, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here, it really helps the channel out. I wanted to talk about what it really takes to build your dream physique, and hopefully give you guys some perspectives that are different to what you've already heard. The first is, you need to have a degree of obsession with this. And I think for the vast majority of people, this is really lacking. Why? Because everyone has different priorities in life. Building a dream physique is nice and something that everyone would want, but very few people actually achieve it. It's the ones that didn't just work hard, but were relentless about the process that get there. And while fitness and aesthetics aren't top priorities for most people, the truth is, if they aren't priorities in your life, it's going to be very difficult to achieve your potential. I've made the progress I have over 12 years because I've made working out a priority. During school, during university, during my work career, working out was still my priority and something that was non-negotiable for me. And without this degree of obsession, I wouldn't have half the results I have today. No coach can help you if you don't have the inner drive for this. The second is you need to be able to visualize your end goal, and this may change over time. When I first started working out in my garage when I was 14, I initially drew inspiration from other physiques all around the world, and I had a blueprint of what I wanted my physique to look like. No two physiques will ever be the same because we all have different genetic structures, but having an idea of what you want to create is important, otherwise you're just in the gym without a goal to aspire to. Having a visual representation of what you could potentially achieve is a powerful tool that has helped me over the years. Now. Social media is definitely a double-edged sword. While it can give us endless motivation, it can also cause pressure to look a certain way. I think one of the saddest parts of this industry nowadays is how many young people, 16, 17, 18, are taking the shorter route with steroids, SARMs and other PEDs. They're doing serious damage to their long-term health with not much to show for it in many cases. But I challenge you guys to take social media as motivation over pressure because what you see online often isn't the full picture anyway. The third and final point is you need to be willing to watch paint dry and enjoy it. What I mean by this is the process of building your dream physique takes months to years of doing the same thing over and over again. And for a majority of the time, the progress you make isn't immediately visible. We live in a time where we're always in the fast lane. We can get most things we want quickly, but building your physique is not one of those things. And you should be thankful for that because it means that you have something very few people are willing to be patient and consistent for when you do achieve it. And the best part about it is you get to walk around with it every day. No one can take it away from you. Nothing has taught me delayed gratification more than fitness and bodybuilding has. That's it guys. Hope you found some value from this video. As always, see you in the next one.